started providing uh, cleaning services at the airport in the late 90s and uh, we got recognized by the NCA being pioneers um, providing services to aircraft cleaning toilet and everything eventually we got uh, a full ground handling license in uh, the year 2006 you ask me what happened between 1996 and 2006 10 10 years uh, gap the situation is that as at that time federal government regulation only two airlines were supposed to provide these services black and white so that is NACO, the nigerian aviation handling company limited and uh, SACO, the Sky Power or Skyway Aviation Handling Company. By government regulation, those were the two monopolies, uh, or bipolies if you want, uh, because this field is a highly specialized field, technical, and uh, more importantly, it's, it's done where you call in, in areas where you call the tarmac or the ramp or in any airport those are highly sec high security zones in any airport and uh, so they don't allow any tom dick and harry to get inside you have to have security clearances not only from the nigerian civil aviation authority nc but right up to the uh, nsa's office national security advisors office and so uh, it was very difficult for any private companies to get in at that time. Now, it wasn't until 2006, going by the 2006 Civil Aviation Act, that private industries were allowed to come in. And uh, Pakol Precision Aviation Handling Company Limited was the first to be so licensed by the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. That is our organization here. We finally got the full ground handling license in the year 2013. And uh, that is what we have been uh, working on uh, till this present time. Um, let me state for the benefit of our viewers, I keep saying ground services, ground handling services. What does it actually entail? Putting it uh, briefly, it involves all the aircraft, all the activities around any, any aircraft when it lands at any airport. Once it lands, you see an army of equipment surrounding that aircraft. You know the passengers have to come down first, so you position what you call the uh, passenger steps. Uh, these days, if it's international flights, the gates come round, round on which uh, passengers can descend back. Then you have to provide power on the ground because pilot switches off the engines. This is your ground power unit, just like a generator gets on to provide the power. Uh, for the lighting and air conditioning, different things going on inside the aircraft. And uh, you drain the toilet, you clean the cabin, uh, you provide air conditioning uh, units and uh, provide portable water for the aircraft. These are equipment that do all these things. You see that this thing is a universal thing. It's what you see in Lagos that you get in uh, Kano or in Abuja or in Honolulu or in Tokyo. They are doing the same thing of uh, any uh, airport in the world. That is what it entails. You have to provide these services together with the checking in of passengers. It's part of what we do. Mm -hmm.